Hi there, welcome to the Sports Update here on the Max Morning Show. My name is Mutala Yakubu. Straight into the gist. Yanko, a Ghana Premier League match day four games about Sonanajima Bedu Park, Adriana won their game there. And also, we had Mediema also winning their game against Bicham United. The two time Premier League champions, Adriana Football Club, this afternoon clash with the 2010 2011 champions, Brickham Chelsea. <laughs> Headed on through the middle. Here come Chelsea in sixes and sevens, but they'd have to defend. Eventually, the shot is fired in. It didn't go through, but then the eventual connection finally registers, registers the first goal. Isaac Minta in the right place at the right time, latched onto it perfectly after the first failed attempt. And it's the home side, Adriana Football Club who are one goal up. Nicely fired in, and that was an effort from Bright Angel. Blocked the first time. But Isaac Minta was in the right place at the right time. That was the first block. Isaac Minta trapped it nicely, and then he connected. Gregory Obing Setre was beat into it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Nana Fosu Jabwa Park here in Bechem, where this afternoon we're bringing you our continuing coverage of the Ghana Premier League powered by Bet Power. And on occasions like this, Bechem United would want to throw deep into the 18. Yeah, goes Augustin Ogram with the connection, and that's the goal! Long throw it was. Up went Abonyo. Augustin Ogra came in, made the way. Derek Lays on the pass, this is good. Now they try to cut through. Aaron Essel comes back to defend. Chance for Midian, but this should be it. Copy book goal. They worked it from defense straight into the end of the field. No advantages at all. And there you saw the tenacity of purpose. Push the ball forward. Laid on nicely by Jonathan. Jonathan would go in for another cracker. No, he leaves it and is driven. Another well worked goal. Into the 18 yard box is a long one. An opportunity and a drive. Oh. Took a bounce off one of the defenders. It could be the last opportunity for Bicham United. It's a long throw. Headed out. Referee Julian Ni Akwanunu signals the end of the game. It's, this is what happened between Mediema there and Bechim United. Mediema winning the game by two goals. So and quickly, let's look at all the results that have come through. We are left with just a game to wrap up March Day 4, and that game will be played today. And uh, uh, Asan Tekotoko, who would be in action there. But let's look at all the results that uh, have come through. Uh, so far, a lot of games were played. Uh, we'll see the results, and we will know what happened there but okay uh, we'll look at the results later but uh, last friday at uh, the mervyn pig hotel you know that mediema uh, are in the C uh, champions league group stages now go first talk their mind sent them a letter that they are no longer going to sponsor them that is a big blow to them. But they've gotten Inguvu Mining Limited. Our money on Ashen Kratas. Inguvu is giving mediema three hundred thousand dollars for one year. We are eager and itching to meet the most outstanding teams in Africa. Because we are not going to leave any stone unturned and make sure we are not just participating, but come out with flying colors. And it is the reason why Nguvu has saw the need to support such an emerging team to make Ghana proud. We are grateful to Nguvu for this support and they are doling out not less than 300,000 US dollars. I'm thankful for the Obia of Obia Pan, Nawupian. And as Nguvu, as a company, we think that um, Mediama is going the right direction. 
what food they are upper. So they need to be pushed, they need to be encouraged, they need to be supported. And I can feel the sense from the speech of the Member of Parliament making the clarion call to all and sundry Ghanaians, stakeholders out there to come over to Macedonia and support. So this call was made and Nguvo responded to come to the table and give the necessary support to achieve the desired result. Um, you, you could see that after the handover of the check, I was whispering something to the ears of the president of the club. And what we both said, in fact, surprisingly, we said this at the same time, Yensaka, Yensaka. <laughs> this is the kind of excitement that is uh, going on in the heart of everybody. Do you imagine that Midiama qualified and they were unable to go to Africa? Could you imagine the effect on Ghana? Because people will say, ah, Ghana, pa, uh, a big country like that, big in football like that, and they qualify, they are, they are not able to go to Africa. So in Uvo, we want to say thank you very much for holding hands with us. So Mediema, they're signing that deal with Ingovo Mining Limited. $300,000 is the money that has been quoted. Let's do something from boxing. Fight night four today about so Bukum Boxing Arena over uh, the weekend last Saturday. It was live on Max TV. And there goes the job establishment from Kamoko. He doubles it up and it goes to the body of Justice. Justice also trying to reach a late. Mustafa Kamoko. Yeah, the last 10 seconds to go and two fighters going at each other. Wow, right hand there from George Amusu. Benjamin Lisa Kabule also relying on the body shot. And uh, Mauga Tupiga closing in the gap to land a hefty punch but missed there. Body punches going in for a left and right hand connect for Amalga Tupiga and the hustle and tussle is going on between uh, Amalga Tupiga and Abdul Rashid Tego and this is what the fans want, the heated nature. What about last 10 seconds to go, Rashid or Tego, Amalga Tupiga, wild mistake from Abdul Rashid Tego. The boxer, Abdul Rashid. Solid punches from uh, Paul Saki. He is back pedaling, but, but at the same time, he is landing some delectable uh, and punishing punches. Uh. Yeah, Derek Nia Sayankra, this fight, uh, very, very hotly contested. I mean, uh, Paul Saki giving it his all, and uh, Prince Zion, the boxer, Paul Saki. So this is what happened with Fight Night 14. This morning on the boxing arena around 11 a.m., you get to see uh, most of the highlights from the AC Elbukon boxing arena. Let's do something from the English Premier League games. Of course, so Chelsea winning, Manchester United doing a comeback, and Mohamed Kudus also scoring his first Premier League goal for West Ham United. Also spoke. Um, feels very good, of course, but most importantly. Um it's made a difference in the team, which was us getting a point. So even though we wanted three points, I was happy to score my first goal. And most importantly, we got a point out of it. Hey, I mean, at that moment in the game, I, I felt good about it. And yeah, I just went for it. Yeah, amazing, amazing fans. Even when we was down 2-1 and I was on the bench, you can still feel the support and the energy from the fans. And yeah, thanks for them for that. And I think it uplifted the players' energy a lot. So it was great atmosphere today. And yeah, everyone gave their best, so we take the point and we learn from it. And even better to get that goal with um, Stone Boy in, in the crowd there to, to, to support you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he actually gave me two goals <laughs> and I scored one of it. So yeah, good luck, good luck for him today. Come to the stadium, you know, and he brought the luck. <laughs> Kudus is Stone Boy in a day like Nebal and this stadium Horum Kudus getting that equalizer. We say we are when I come with the sports daily, I'll bring you Stone Boy's reaction. That brings me to the end of the sports update here on the Max Morning Show. My name is Mutalaya Kubujoy and Alex Demubewi. Right.